We're crashing a party. The afternoon tea kind of party. Hello, tea lovers. Hello. How you doing? Are you giving your pinkies a workout? Yeah. About to reveal to these tea connoisseurs what they and you don't know about the world's most popular drink. There's no question Canadians love their tea. <laughs> How many cups a day for you? Five to six is an average. Uh, six to eight cups. Sounds high, right? Not when you learn we drink nearly 10 billion cups of tea a year. Many big brands promote their tea as healthy and natural. But are they really as pure as we think? Turns out, maybe not. We've discovered the Canadian Food Inspection Agency has been testing various teas. Three years ago, one in four had pesticides at levels above what's allowed by Health Canada. When they checked the brewed tea, pesticides showed up there too. So here's what we want to know. Are those teas still on the shelf? To find out, we pack up 10 of the same popular teas tested by the CFIA and test them too. Meanwhile, at our tea party, the guests are surprised to hear something maybe steeping in their brew. It's going to not cross a lot of people's minds that there may be something else other than just the tea leaf in there. But just wait till they hear our results. Nearly all the teas we test have pesticide residue. Half of them with amounts exceeding maximum levels set in Canada. Some with a pesticide being banned worldwide. Turns out, when reading some tea leaves, there's a lot between the lines. Tetley sells more tea than any other brand in Canada. Our test finds 16 pesticides, with three over the allowable limit. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I think the fact that it says pure on the bottom there, <laughs> too, that, that, that's a bit pure questionable. <laughs> But it's our next result that tea partiers find even harder to swallow. I don't know if you've ever seen this one. Sure, Uncle, Uncle Lee's. Of China. Yeah. Uncle, Lee's yeah. Uncle Lee's Legends of China Green Tea. Inside there we find a whopping 22 pesticides, with six over the limit. I'm shocked that there's that much contamination. So what do the makers of Uncle Lee's Legends of China Green Tea think? We head to Los Angeles and meet company vice president James O. Young. Mr. O. Young. Tom, tell me nice to meet you. If you drink tea, regular tea, I don't care is what brand is that. The fact of life, this agricultural product does have pesticides. So take the bad with the good, he says. But environmental lawyer David Boyd says, not good enough. He's appalled that some of the same teas we tested show so much pesticide residue years after Canadian officials first uncovered the problem. It raises a red flag and suggests that and no adequate enforcement action has been taken. Turns out Uncle Lee's was one of the teas being monitored by the CFIA. That's news to O Young. Several years ago, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency tested Legends of China tea. Mm -hmm. They found several mm -hmm. pesticides as well. Mm -hmm. Did they say anything to your company about that? No. Not because, at all? Not at all. Because if we would know that, we would already start jumping on it. As for the other teas, Tetley says they stand by theirs and their own testing, showing it's compliant. And the association that represents tea companies tells us the industry is working to make production safer for both producers and consumers. Something at least one tea maker's already doing. There is some good news. Uh, Red Rose Orange Pico, no pesticide. Wow. And sing. Red Rose, right? Yeah. <laughs> tells you that you can actually grow it without resorting to pesticides. Yeah, and, and be commercially viable. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency says the amounts of pesticides found in their tests and ours are not a health concern, but David Boyd isn't buying it. I have a really difficult time putting any confidence in those kinds of assertions, particularly when we're finding products with upwards of 20 pesticides on a single product. So we say CFIA, you're busted for allowing teas on store shelves that violate Canadian limits for pesticides.